Dear students, welcome again to Tourism Garden. Here talking to you, both we are trainers from Risedo and Ikirez. This garden is designated for practice in tourism for students during the studying time. Me talking to you, I'm called Niro Antoinette, trainer in tourism option. Next to me is Uncle de Kaigamba. Thank you. Both we are trainers, but at this time, Mr. Claude is going to work as a guest, a tourist, mm -hmm. and me, I'm going to work as a tour guide. Thank you. Before we start the activity, let's show you some uh, materials and equipment to use when touring in uh, nature. Mm -hmm. Here we have, firstly I have a stick. He also has a stick. Ooh. These help us to walk without sliding in nature walk. It may be in, during the rain season or rain period, bad weather, so you have to hold on in order to avoid to slide. So other equipment we proceed. Here we have a machete. You may go in jungle or in forest and then uh, you find that a, a tree has fallen. So you cut in order to find a way. You may look for another new stick, so you use it. This is a machete. Apart from it, we have a stove. Yeah, in tourism, uh, uh, especially at the campsite, we use a stove for several activities as we are going to do next. Mm -hmm. Apart from it, Mr. Kaga, we have a binocular. Mm -hmm. So, try one. Uh, it's used uh, to see very far features. Okay. Animals may be at a distance, so in order to, to have its view, you may use a binocular. Okay. You may you use this upper side to measure the, the good view. You zoom, you reduce, or you do whatever you want. So once you are using it, it is very easier for you to capture a good picture or to have uh, a very hiding animals. Wow. Okay. Apart from by nature, we have what we call wood yoko. Uh huh. It's used. Yeah, it is used uh, to communicate while at a distance. Uh huh. I may, you may, you may be at a, a far distance from where I am, so we communicate. We may also need to communicate to the headquarter so that they. Bec they are informed about the situation we are in. We may face a problem. So for them to help us, we call there, from there, or we may communicate just, if you are in one tent, me also I'm in another tent, we may lose communication uh, network, but with this, they, they remiss the network. So it is used, there are codes uh, we, that are established for each institution that use it, and then we may connect at the same line we use, the radio core. Uh -huh. Another important thing is the uh, flashlight. This flashlight is used when you have planned activities uh, to pass night within the forest or the park. So you may have some complications or something is disturbing you out, so you may use it to flash and uh, see what is there or what is disturbing you. So the flashlight can show you even the way during the night when you want to go out or to take something. You may lose. For night, night trips? Yeah, for night trips or someone who passes night in the forest. Yes. Uh -huh. Apart from that, we also carry box. This box is the first aid kit. Oh, yes. mm -hmm.
for what or why do we carry the first aid kit when traveling or touring in natural places? Thermal removal or uh, medicines to for you to recover, we use the first aid kit. Yeah, it is helpful. Mm -hmm. Apart from it, we have jungle boots. Yeah, these ones are casual. They are not used for hard natural work. Mm -hmm. These ones, once you wear them, nothing can bite you at the right side. Mm -hmm. So these are the hard, uh, hard way boots. So they are helpful once you are traveling in natural ways. Okay, there are other several equipment. Here we have a sleeping bag. Once you are going to camp or to stay, yes, to stay during the night in the forest. Once you enter your tent, you have to go inside this sleeping bag in order to get warm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Here you have a raincoat. With this, you can't face any coldness at the natural work. So I was showing you the equipment needs to to go to camping to campsite okay this uh is is a kind of swing during the day you may pinch it in the trees and then here we don't have next trees but if they are you pinch it and you can sit inside or sleeping to entertain yourself to for you to relax Good. thank you so after showing you the necessary materials for camping now we proceed to the campsite and uh, other uh, activities from there thank you uh-huh welcome again dear tourists thank you madam we have reached to our camping site Ooh. so as you see we have a tent this is a type of accommodation mm -hmm. that is used by a person mm -hmm. who does not wish to stay in a hotel yes. or in a guest house, mm -hmm. you may use a tent. Mm -hmm. So as you see, this tent has what we can call an entrance. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This entrance has a second lock, locker. We can consider it as uh, a mosquito net. This is for one, one person? No. As you see, this tent is designated for three travelers. Okay. Yeah. So it has a second locker uh, that is considered as a mosquito net. So you don't double rock, you only do like this. You are safe and you stay in. Uh -huh. To enter in, you also open the second part uh -huh. inside there may be too much equipment one of them is the sleeping bag. sleeping bag yeah the sleeping bag as i told you before you use it to cover yourself in order to avoid the coldness yes. uh -huh. you get inside then you cover, you can stay in. Yeah. There may be also a mattress for you to avoid to get hard with the rand. Okay. This tent, within it, we don't know. You may have a torch because you will pass night from there. Uh -huh. You may have a first aid. We never know the snake may bite you, but not from inside, but you may face an accident. Yeah, the jungle boots and then they read your call to contact me in case you have uh, a problem. Uh -huh. Other features from this tent, you have what we call a window. The window is also double locked. During the night, you close. Uh -huh. You close. During the day, you can open and stay with the fresh air, you can also open it if you want to have a good view. Yeah, and there is something to tie. Aeration.
If you want to aerate, you may double uh, the log, uh, opening. At this camping site, excuse me, any animals can't can't enter here when you close this window. When you, you open, open, you open this window. Yeah, an animal may can enter or disturb you, but it is rarely happens mm -hmm. because. When choosing a camping site, they are element to focus on. Yeah. We take a good area from which animals uh, can't approach. Yeah. And the uh, other thing is that a, a fire camp. Mm -hmm. At the campsite, we light a fire. Animals cannot approach. They know that from there people are, people are present. Yeah, yeah they fear. But even if animals can't reach to you, you are advised to close. Yeah, in order to avoid uh, bad insects to go in. Any big animals can push this? Hmm? Yeah, can push. it can, but it does not reach and here. Uh, don't be afraid about animals because you can't stay alone here. Okay. Yeah, near you there are other people and you have a, a radio call in case you have a problem, you can call for a help. Yeah, here we have to write a fire even if they have not put it there. But from here, if animals try to reach and find that the fire is right, they can't continue. It's a barrier for them. Yeah, to choose a camping site, we focus on several things. First of all, uh, we analyze the, sec the security of mm -hmm. our guests. Yeah. Uh, secondly, we choose an area that is not ha roof or hard. Mm -hmm. It is a run place for you not to feel hard or uh, aged by the land. Third element is that it is an area that has a good view on the rest of the forest or the park for you to enjoy. Yeah. When you stay in the park, you have chosen to use the camping as uh, your mode of accommodation. We have porters not very far from you. We have uh, other tour guides also who may pass night near you in another tent. So there is no reason for you to get frightened. Yeah. At the camping site, you may, uh, because you pass night there, you may be in need for kitchen material. If you have planned for that, we also carry. We carry the gas, cooking gas. We may carry the knife. We may carry uh, the meals to cook. At the campsite, you may also have fun and enjoyment. Look at the other side. Yeah, that big tree, yeah. you may use the swings in the in green color, as you see, to take a swing and uh, to enjoy the morning rays. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the jungle or in the natural area, there are some um, do's and don'ts. Yeah. As we have informed you before you come, we have to inform the guest about what we are. <laughs> it is much important because guests may come very far from very far and we are in, in casual clothes, in casual style, while you are going to go to hard areas. You may be uh, in need for boots, you may be in need for running coat, you may be in need for uh, peel over or cover all for you to warm, and then we are going to tell you about accepted colors in nature. As we are wearing, green is the most advisable. Yeah, this uh, color, as green color, it is most advisable since we are look um, we have the same color as trees. If you want to hide yourself against an animal it is easy for you because you have a green color but think as if you are in a white color or in a red color 
it will be too much difficult for you to hide. Mm -hmm. But also this color, uh, the animals or fauna is familiar with you because you are looking the same like the nature looks. Yeah, if you don't find the green color, you may use uh, a little bit of black. Black, um, the other one, kachi color, is also advisable because these are not sounding colors to animals. Animals cannot get uh, fr frightened by you as a newcomer or um, as something new in the forest. That is one. Second element is the code of conduct in the jungle. Please, I thank you because I've not done that already. Um, you are not allowed to follow uh, rubbish in the park. No, it is not good. Even to feed the park animals, it is not good. Because these animals can have that habit that people will bring things to them. So please, we are not allowed to feed pack animals. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, we have to carry what we will be in need, like water. In jungle, we don't have water. So we have to carry drinking water for our, our health. We are not allowed to shout. Yeah. When we shout, we may miss some animals who are in need to, to visit. Yeah, because they prepare themselves in advance for newcomers and they may hide themselves. But if you go quietly, they may show themselves. Yeah, it is advised to keep quiet when having a natural work. Mm -hmm. Do you have some questions? Uh, only question, to take photos is allowed? Uh, in some areas, but in others, no. Yeah. In natural work like this, you may take a picture. Mm -hmm. But in front of an animal, <laughs> you ask permission to me. Mm -hmm. I can examine the mood in which these animals are. I allow you all. If not, we can leave it. Yeah. What else? Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you too. So, when we are at the campsite, it is up you to choose to stay for one day, to stay for two days. You may even uh, increase the, <laughs> your stay or, or change the accommodation type. It's up to you. Yeah. Some tourists may wish to stay in a tent, others to stay in a caravan, what you call caravaning, others in the lodges or uh, resorts, as you wish. Can you go and try your tent? Okay. <laughs> I take the stick. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes. I don't like to be alone. Mm. How can I? Ah, uh, you may have thought about so that while you being to your home. Mm -hmm. I've told you that some porters are nearer. Others, other uh, guides are staying in the other tent. Mm -hmm. So this is your personal problems. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have a question. Where are you going now? Me? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm called to the headquarter. I have another duty, but some of my colleagues are going to join and are nearer. Uh, the soldiers of your country, mm -hmm. they can come here when they, sec they control security. How I can know them? There's no problem for you. I have. Feel at home. Mm -hmm. All workers from here are informed that you have guests, mm -hmm. and that guest is using a campsite. Okay. Yeah no problem to face okay. once you get any inquiry use the radio call mm -hmm. it is already on the code that we have from the reception can i move it to close yeah for the cleanliness of your tent you have to put aside inside the tent but you enter without this okay. mm -hmm. and uh, in any case Good. Oh, wow. Oh, it's very nice. <laughs> and before I leave, yes. at the morning we start the journey area at 6 a.m. and uh, we will carry snacks uh, because uh, it will be too area. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Our porters and me will go back to you to help uh, to move from here. Okay. Mm -hmm. But during the night, we have uh, a fire camp here. Other people will be with you. You can come and join okay. to have uh, time with others. Okay. Thank you. Can I help me for closing this? Yeah, but you may also try to see if it will be easier for I you during the morning. Here. You open. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a rocker, you open. Like this? Yes, you go until the, the bottom. Mm -hmm. You may remove the raincoat. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you so full cover you. <laughs> Not it's a thousand hairs country. In Africa. <laughs> okay. Can see the eye on this side? Like you wish. Come, Make come your bed as you wish. Come show me. Try your best, please. You are <laughs> so I help you with your cars. Good night. Enjoy the stay. See you tomorrow. Dear students for Level City Tourism, come again. Uh, the purpose or objectives of our session is to show you how you can use campsite, especially in tour guiding activities, because sometimes uh, some destinations they, uh, they, they, they haven't, uh, they have difficult accommodation. Sometimes the hotels, the, the, the some there is a very far for uh, destination. That's why you, uh, you must learn this session in order to increase skills uh, on how you can use campsite in tourism activities or in the tour guiding activities. So, as you know, as you see, our camping site is help us to call in, uh, to call in tourists, especially in the destination. Sometime you can use campsite when it rain. When it rain, it, it's better to use a tent. Uh, as the, I say, the, some hotels are very far from destination. So that's why you must have a skills or knowledge of using campsite in the tourism activities. Dear students, we always think about you during this lockdown down period. So, in order to continue to revise what we did for camping site and camping materials and the touring do's and don'ts, we leave you a very small um, video for you to see how to pinch a tent and how to uh, install a tent. Thank you. Come again, we'll meet next time. Bye bye. Thank you.